Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a little tool that you may find quite useful if you've got a very large Amiga collection. Initially I was going to do this as an uh, additional part in my Win UAE guide that I've been doing. Um, if you haven't watched that already, uh, check up in the corner, you'll see a link to all those videos. You can use this in Win UAE, but you can also use this tool for a real Amiga and it's a really useful tool. And that tool is Tiny Launcher. So if you've got a lot of WHD load games, it's a nice what's called front end for displaying all your games. And it's, an, it's a nice menu basically, rather than delving through folders and everything, you get a nice interface. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install it. Just search on Aminet for Tiny Launcher. And uh, we need to download this file here, the LHA file, extract it with 7-zip. Uh, extract here and as you can see there's a readme file and a launcher so there's no folder or info file that you need to worry about with this so those two files I'm just going to copy and then into my PC folder with that done let's open up when you AE and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go briefly through the configuration that I've made this is a very similar configuration if you've been following my previous guides so uh, if we load this up so we are emulating an Amiga 1200 uh, we've got a 020 processor uh, and the chipset is AGA important things to note and I don't think I mentioned this in my earlier videos one thing I've noticed is that when you set up a use this quick start and you set up an A1200 most often it defaults to the 3.0 ROM and if you're installing Workbench 3.1 and then a load of stuff on top of that you might find some incompatibilities and some weird glitches happen it it might need to be a 3.1 ROM to match with the operating system so I've done that there uh, for RAM I've got 2 megabytes of chip RAM and I've got 8 megabytes of fast RAM at the moment but if you think, hang on, 8 megabytes isn't enough, I want to max it out, uh, then what you need to do is you need to go to the CPU tag here, untick 24-bit addressing, then go back to RAM, and then what you'll see, we won't have Z2, we want Z3 fast RAM, and you can push that even further. So let's have 128 megabytes of RAM. Let's go crazy. Uh, floppy drive, so I've got no floppy drive connected, but I'll just bung that onto turbo just in case. Hard drives, important thing. So I've got my system file, so that is using Better Workbench, which I've covered in previous videos. So look back on that Win UAE guide that I've been making. Uh, shows you all how to set that up. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of directories. So I've got a directory uh, called PC, and that's uh, the one that's going to have the install files on it. So I'm going to call that DH1 and the label. I'm just going to call PC. It does need to be a bootable one, so I'll untick that. And I'm going to make another one called uh, HD2 and the volume of that is going to be called games and unbootable and I've got all my WHD load games in a folder this folder here WHD load and you can see they've all got um, alphabet organized um, don't ask me where to get WHD load games have a Google have a search those are drives all set up there ready and that's pretty much the configuration so I'm just going to do a quick save and then I'm going to start up the emulator we've got our system we've got the PC drive there's tiny launcher.exe uh, that I extracted already uh, I've already installed WHD load um, and I've got all my games here what this program does is tiny launcher what we're going to do is we're going to move it into the system folder. I'm going to just move it into my tools folder. It don't have, it doesn't have to go into the tools folder, but it's just a good idea to keep um, organized. Move the windows like that. That icon in the corner allows you to kind of hide the windows to the back if you didn't know. And what we need to do is move tinylauncher.exe into there. And then 
show all and it should appear there okay so let's run it so here we go here's tiny launcher and I'm using the left and right arrow keys to go through so we've got games demos music favorites sysconfig um, and then yeah and then exit so let's go to system config and then as you can see we've got a set game path so you can set multiple paths where your games are um, I'd recommend that you just put everything in one directory try and keep it as neat as possible um, and what we need to do is as you can see at the moment it's on DH1 but that's the wrong drive our games are on DH2 in my case so what you need to do is press uh, 1 then type in the new path DH2 Oop, DH2 colon okay there we go and then we need to press F1 to update games so let's go do a scan of all my games so this might take some time so see you in a moment okay so that's all done if you have got a larger collection of games um, what you might find beneficial is actually hit F12 uh, go back to the CPU FPU tab again and just make sure that uh, JIT and fast as possible is selected and you'll find that the progress bar goes a whole much faster uh, it can disrupt some games so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that back to the slower speed again approximate speed and there we go so if we go into games so if I press enter there you go you can see that we've got all our games if I go over to the right it jumps down and if I keep on doing this you can see we've got loads and loads of games so uh, all I should be able to do is just choose a game press enter and there we go it comes up with the uh, WHD load thing excellent and then F10 to exit and as you can see it goes back into the menu again to get out of it just press escape and then escape again and we're completely out of the tool to make things a little bit sleeker what we can do is we can make it start up on on launch so if I just view uh, all files and then S drive um, we're looking for our startup file our startup sequence there we go if I double click on that and then I prefix that with ed space so I can edit it uh, and then what I'll do is just scroll all the way down to the bottom and uh, I don't have to load workbench but what I could do is load DH0 tools and then it's called tiny launcher.exe give that a save there we go control Amiga Amiga to give it a reboot and there we go straight away no workbench we're into the tiny launcher yeah if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments below if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe if you wish to see more and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video